Okay, our goal for this video is to derive the equation of the plane tangent to the curve z equals f of x, y at the point x equals a, y equals b, and then obviously z will be f of a, b because that's how we're defining this function. And let's just recall, in order to find the equation of a plane, we need a point, so we've already got that, a, b, f of a, b, and then we also need two vectors that are parallel to the plane, or one vector that is normal to the plane. And it turns out that we will find two vectors parallel to the plane, take their cross product, and get a vector that is normal to the plane. Okay, so I've sketched up a little picture here. So in white is my surface. So this is going to be here, the surface z equals f of x, y. And then here I've got my point, and so you want to think about this point living above the xy plane at AB. So this point right here is AB comma F of AB. Then I've got two vectors that are parallel to the plane tangent, which I've drawn in orange, and then uh, th they can cross together to get this normal vector. Now, the first thing that I want to do is take a slice of this surface um, with a certain plane, so uh, and that will allow us to find find one of the uh, tangent vectors, in other words, one of the vectors parallel to the tangent plane. And so let's slice this picture with uh, the plane y equals b. In other words, we're setting y equal to a constant. And so now that means x is a variable, um, and well, z is obviously the dependent variable. So that means we have this curve, z equals f of x comma b, and then b has been fixed. So now if we draw this resulting curve in the x, z plane, then uh, maybe it looks like a parabola because this is the kind of picture that I've drawn over here. Good. And then notice the slope of the tangent line here can be given, so maybe this is the tangent line at this point right here. So and let's say that this point right here is the x coordinate a. So the slope of this tangent line is given by the partial derivative with respect to x evaluated at a and b. So why is it the partial derivative with respect to x? Where we're holding y equal to a constant and we are varying x. Okay, good. But now let's transport this into a vector. So let's represent that yellow arrow as a vector. And so now notice we can represent it as a vector in the following way. So notice the z part is changing like f of x a b. The x part is changing like 1, right? Because this gives us the slope of the tangent. I can just take that as um, the denominator or the change of the dependent variable being 1, like change of z over change of x. But now how is the y part changing? Well, recall, we set y equal to a constant. We're going through that constant plane, so this is changing like 0. Great. So this is tangent vector number 1 is equal to this guy right here. And then uh, tangent vector number two, we can get by doing a very, very similar thing. So now we're going to slice with a different plane. We'll slice with x equals a, which gives us a function of one variable, z equals f of a comma y. So our variable is y. And that's going to give us this picture, y, z. Those are, our, those are our axes. And then we have this curve like this. And then this guy going down here like that, that's our tangent vector. And that's going to be given by f sub y of a, b. Great. And now from this, we can get our second tangent vector. So notice... What do we have? We have the x parts not changing at all because we set x equal to a constant. And then the change of z over the change of y needs to be this derivative. So that's going to give us the following vector. Okay, good. So now um, notice that now we have 
two parallel vectors. And so this first parallel vector is given by 1 comma 0 comma f sub x of a, b. And our second parallel vector is 0 comma 1 comma f sub y of a, b. So we've got everything that we need. We have a point, good, and then we have two vectors that are parallel to our plane. And now I'll clean up the board, we'll cross those to get a normal vector, and then write down the equation. Okay, so now we're ready to calculate our normal vector. So our normal vector is going to be given by the cross product of these two parallel vectors. So we have 1, 0, f sub x, a, b, crossed with 0, 1, f sub y evaluated at a, b. Great. Now we're going to use uh, the 3 by 3 determinant method for doing this cross product. So we've got I, J, K in the first row, and then our first vector in the second row, and then our second vector in the third row. Good. So we've got something going on like that. But now let's do this cross product. So in the I coordinate, we need to look at the 2 by 2 determinant that's left over here. So notice that is going to give us the vector in this first coordinate, 0 times this f sub y minus 1 times this f sub x. So this is f sub x evaluated at a, b, and it is negative. Great. And now the next one, we need to cross out the second row in the first column. And we will uh, similarly get negative f sub y a b. So in this case, we get 1 times f sub y minus 0 times f sub x. But then there's a minus sign built into the fact that this is in the j component. Great. And then notice when we look at the k component, we cross out the third column in the first row. And we get the determinant of this identity matrix, which just gives us 1 right there. Okay, so now that we have a normal vector and a point, we can very easily write down the equation of this tangent plane. I'll let you guys look up the formula for the equation of a plane um, given a normal vector and a point, but what we're going to end up getting is minus f sub x evaluated at a, b times x minus a. So it's the x part of the normal vector, x minus the x part of the point, minus f sub y evaluated at a, b, y minus b, and then plus z minus f of a, b equals zero. All right, that's what we get. And it's pretty common to solve this for z. And if we solve this for z, we get the following. So we're going to get f sub x of a, b evaluated at x minus a plus f sub y of a, b um, times y minus b and then plus f of a, b. And that is generally the formula of the, that you will see for the equation of a tangent plane um, through this point. Okay, good. This is a good place to end this video.